What's that he dropped? A locker key? Safe, just waiting to be. Be opened. Locker note said something about this place. Mm, more of the safe code. Note said something about a meetup point. Spot friends. Should be all clear now. Last man standing claims the prize.
reminds me of the varsity morons who think they can play pool, and their stashes were always worth the hustle. I'm betting sore ears were the least of his problems. I'm betting some munchies were the least of Cole's problems in the morning. I'm betting it's one hell of a hangover. Enjoy the drinks on the other side. seismic event just as the infected started crawling out of every manhole and overrunning the city. So you think it's more than a coincidence? I know. You're thinking, oh, we get quakes all the time. But never like these, with such localized effects and their epicenters nowhere near where we'd expect them. There's more going on under the surface. I just need the data to prove it. And I'm guessing that's where I come in, eh? Uh, afraid so. Some colleagues and I placed four seismometers in the sewers to gather readings as soon as we noticed. We got in through the Bel Air access tunnel not far from here. Our little field trip did not go well. 
I need you to collect our data. You lost friends. We soldier on. The devices you're looking for come in special locked containers. Each one has a key. Get the data from all four and bring it back to me. The sooner, the better. The more we know, the better our chances. I'd love to hear your theories. All right, I'm in. I'll get your data. Some good notes. Should be able to find everything I need with this. Hmm. The ill-fated seismologist field trip. seismographs are. Got one. But still plenty more data buried down here. I can't work like this. Gotta be a way to clear this. things up. Found you. Here's hoping this data is eye opening. Mother Nature, whose side you on? Another body. It's a dirty job sometimes. You! I'll teach you to respect the dead! A lot of people died for this data, Luciana. I hope it wasn't for nothing.
Don't worry, friend. You'll be back with your team soon. your chances, but you proved me wrong. You're a significant outlier. You should know. I found the remains of your friends. We knew what we were getting ourselves into when we chose the high-risk, high-reward world of seismology. With the data returned, the expedition was all worth it. It better be. Listen, I counted four timely tremors down there, like something was reacting to what I was doing. Fascinating. Let's hope what you brought back is enough to construct a firm hypothesis. Now, please, you must leave me to the data. Ah, I know this look. Just promise if you find something I can use, you'll tell me, all right? Hmm, yeah. How utterly perplexing. I can't wait to show my colleague. Changer against the zombies, huh? Sounds useful. Maybe if the military had unboxed this, they could have changed the time. like someone well-versed in matters of the grotesque. Uh, thanks? Well, I can see that you're begging to ask, so I'll tell you, yes. I am an artiste, a sculptor, of perceptions, of minds, of reality itself. Francesca. Quite the intro. Bruno. Since the dawn of humankind, art has challenged us and elevated us. Now more than ever, it is art that will save us from our moral decay. You want to help save people, don't you? That's what I'm trying to do right now. Then go out and collect me infected flesh. You can rip it straight from any of those mindless conformists wandering around. Or perhaps you already have some to donate. When you've got enough, put it in that bucket there. <sighs> I'm not connecting the dots. How's this gonna help? Oh, how can you be so obtuse? 
I'm creating my magnum opus, my masterwork. I am Michelangelo, and you must bring me the finest vein marble. Now, go! At least I can use whatever she does in to improve my weapons. Oh, there you are. Good. Yes. My medium is death. For how else should we understand life? <gasps> Finally, the process can begin. The sublime pain and sacred pleasure of new creative birth. It's gonna be a long process, because I think we both got safer places to be. My god, we've barely begun! I need rarer, more exquisite parts. I've been listening to the inane chatter on the radio. I've heard of marvelous and monstrous beasts around the city. I must mold their fantastical corruption. Fantastical. Mark this. My artistic flow is paramount. I'll place my requests on the board up there. When you bring the matter, do not interrupt me. Just drop it in the bucket. And what's dropping in my pocket for this? We can trade for my aesthetic leftovers, but as I pass you the dregs of my creativity, consider what residue of your own will you discard. Don't answer, just let that stew for a while. Go out! And bring me something fabulous from those monstrosities. Judgment Day. You must leave. I need total focus. Ugh. Yo, Miss Vincenta Van Gore, where you at? Okay, there's a pale horse in your backyard. Well, how does it make you feel? I feel like I'll never be creative again. Yes, facing the truth of our own grotesque reality is a miraculous experience. But see, you are free. You are absolved. God, I wish I were you. Everything before today was the looking glass, but now you're finally in Wonderland. Immerse yourself, Alice. Let it enter every part of you. Huh? I know, I know. Drink it in. 
It will still be here tomorrow if you can't handle its full magnificence today. And this old skunk. Oh shit, is this the wrong channel? Damn it. I'm trying to contact a friend. Ah, well if it's a lost friend, I can help with that too. Adapt it. Somewhere over here in Mothark Studios. And trust me, you do not want to come here. I'm no stranger to that place. I might be more help than you realize. I think you're crazy, but I'll take any help I can get. I'm searching for the gas station set. One with the giant spider. Meet me there. <laughs> Always with the... Hey! Are you... Yes, I am Sarah Shoe. Yes, I am wearing my space box outfit, and yes, this is a bad time! <laughs> Had a dream like this once. Damn that useless chunk of... Ugh. There's more coming! Be careful! was stupid, but also incredibly... Yeah. Impressive. Sarah Shepard of Space Box fame. Never expected to run into Captain Vixen out here. Never expected you to actually show up. You're really going to help look for Sebastian? Sure. But I'll need more info than a name to get started. He's a skinny kid. No fighter. But he's tricky. Creative how he's made it this far. Problem is, I can't reach him on the radio, and his stupid Dee Dee toy keeps drawing in the zombies. Dee Dee? That's what's in the bag? Dee Dee 09, Space Fox's nav droid and baby robot merchandise milker. Can't stand the thing. But Sebastian loved it enough that he made a replica for conventions. I have no damn clue how to shut it up. If he doesn't get back and do something about it soon, our safe zone will be overrun. <laughs> so we need to find him quick. How about we split up, and I take the bag? I'll need our friend Dee Dee here to get Sebastian to come to me. You can clearly take care of yourself. Fine, you take Dee Dee. Start your search in Soundstage 3. I'll keep looking out here in peace. Just don't lose that bag. It's lost enough as it is. <laughs> Easy, my robotic friend. Not yet. We're doing this now. Time to improvise.
isn't here, Dee Dee. Should we try somewhere else? Quietly? No more inconvenient input, Dee Dee? you look at that, Dee Dee? Sebastian's all right. Now we just need to get around to him. Why is Dee 9 acting like this? I can check on it, but not until those body snatchers are dealt with. Captain Vixen just asked me to come out here and find you, Sebastian. So the captain sent you? But I'm fine. I'm just scavenging for tools and parts. Nothing to worry about. The problem is, your little friend Dee Dee here won't shut up. It's been chirping non-stop and attracting every zombie. Your captain was surrounded when I saved her. Jeez, oh, I really screwed up. This is beyond cringe. My dumb robot nearly got Miss Shepard killed. I can't show my face around her no more. She's she's gonna hate me. Easy, space cadet. She'll be happy you're alive, and happier still when you turn this robot off. Maybe give her a radio call and stop leaving her hanging, yeah? You're right. I'll fix DD09 up and return to camp. But please, take something for helping Captain Vixen today. Consider it your spoils of war, and may the Star of Volpine guide you. Hey, Captain. I found your boy outside Stage 6. He's an odd one, but he's in one piece. Oh, I can't thank you enough for this. If you ever need to take a break, you're welcome to join us behind the big green screen. I'm keeping the area safe. Greetings, Traveler. I'm pleased to report that we have safely regrouped. <laughs> I can see that, friend. Sebastian, don't get distracted. Running out there alone was incredibly stupid. Do not do that again. It was a necessary risk, Captain. I found enough parts that we can start fighting back against the Body Snatchers. This is not a debate. From now on, you do not leave this safe zone without me. Understood? But... <sighs> Understood, Miss Shepard. Do you read me? It's Sarah. If you're in the area, I need some help at Monarch Studios. Meet me at my trailer by Stage 4. Stage 4? 
Roger that, Captain Vixen. Hey, friend. Hi there. Surprised need my help again so soon, Captain. What's the story? Glad you could make it. Sorry to drag you back here, but I need to call upon your zombie fighting expertise again. <laughs> I should put that on my resume, eh? What do you need dead? I need to retrieve some... contracts. From an office in Soundstage 7. But, uh, <laughs> I know my limits. Could you clear out those God Spider sets for me? Specifically the Ruin set. And there's a real piece of work hiding in the City Street stage. Once he's gone, I can get what I need myself. That's some important paperwork. Tell me what I'm looking for, I can bring them back for you. Thanks, but clearing out the extras is enough. Don't take it personally. I tell you, but it's not my secret to share, you know? With all these special effects lying around, maybe I can tip the scales in my favor. <laughs> the benefits of fighting smart, not hard. Tidy up the street set. Ha! Let's see what I can find. I see. It's something. <sighs> hmm. Come out and play, zombie boy. No? Well, how about I tempt you down with a meal that won't fight back? I need some bodies in here. some bait part creative if you want to stack the deck in your favor don't be shy about using the special effects those zombies won't know what hit them Prepped. Now to ring the dinner bell.
Sorry, friend. Captain's orders. Done. They're ready for you on set, Captain. You did my crew a solid today. And me. I've been doing alright fighting these monsters one-on-one, -on -one, but... The new tricks they're pulling out? Well, we may be overstaying our welcome here. You got options. You would be safe at Emma John's place. And Ricky Rex and his family aren't too far from here either. Ha! <laughs> uh, sorry, but I've got other places in mind. Unfinished business to take care of. Thanks. I can take the rest from here. Sebastian? Huh? Oh, it's you. Sorry. I was in my own world there. Hey, Space Cadet. Finally made it off Planet Monarch, huh? Oh, hey, yeah. Uh, body snatchers didn't make things easy. But we're here, and I'm happy to see you. Are you here to aid Captain Vixen in reclaiming Planet Hollywood? <laughs> Jeez. Sorry, that was lame. <laughs> hey, it's all in good fun. On that note, where's the captain? She ordered me to stay here and guard the post while she did something at the Chinese theater. Alone. I'm just... It's like I'm just useless. Do you think she trusts me? I mean, I'm wearing frickin' cardboard armor. Easy, easy. You see the loophole, yeah? You gotta stay. But I don't. I'll catch up to Sarah at the Chinese theater. Thanks. I'm sorry I can't be more help. small world. What the hell are you doing out here? Your boy Sebastian's feeling down. You really gotta start looping that kid in on what's going on, Captain. Oh, Sebastian. He's already doing more than enough. In fact, he gave me this idea. I didn't want to put him in danger again, though I admit I could use an extra pair of hands right now. You'll find no finer pair in L.A. What was his idea? Monarch Studios was shipping marketing gear for the awards via the Metro, including a logo filter meant for one of these big spotlights. As far as I can tell, it got to the station, but no one collected it. Sure. Don't see how it helps stop zombies, but seeing as it's you, I'll roll with it. It's not about stopping them, it's about gathering survivors. Maybe even some of my Space Fox castmates. Strength in numbers. Now be careful. There's rumors of zombies down there, if you can believe it. I'll warn you once, my weapons ain't set to stun. Is still here. Yeah. Hey, 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 what is she doing up there? Damn it! I swear this isn't on me. Something up there must be setting them off. Spare the deets. I'll stop the zombies. You stop the pyro.
shutters. Safety override. There has to be a safety override, damn it. on the spotlight so we can get the hell out of here. Beaming up. Great plan, Captain. A space box logo will turn some heads, yeah? Sebastian's fanboying gave me the idea. In this one episode, the crew is stranded, and Vixen rigs up a signal out of some scrap. Hopefully any other survivors nearby will have a beacon to follow. You've got your hands full with one space cadet. You sure you can handle more of them? Going solo would make some things easier, but others harder. And staying on the run creates its own problems. Besides, here, now, feels like a Captain Vixen is needed. Especially for people like Sebastian. He finds it hard to be alone. I gotta finish up, but uh, let him know I'll be back soon. I've worried him enough. Aye, aye, Captain. To have to kill you if you found out situation. There were explosions. Where's Miss Shepard? Is she okay? Easy, space cadet. Captain V's fine. She's just finishing setting up your beacon idea. Huh? My idea? What? I'm sure she'll explain when she's back. You're a team, and she can't do this without you. She is the coolest, and so are you. Oh, you gotta take something as thanks for all the help. And may the star of Volpine forever guide us. And may the fox be with you soon, space cadet. Trust me, you need to relocate. This store is not what it looks like. The case of the disappearance of the director. Let's... Try my luck one more time. Painting sets? Huh. Surely the director would hire someone else for that. Well, unless the zombies have started to floss the flesh out of their teeth, this looks like proof of life. Real food. If Steve is still here, he was ready for the long haul. Oh, 
Find your boy outside stage six. He's an odd one, but he's in one piece. Oh, I can't thank you enough for this. If you ever need to take a break, you're welcome to join us behind the big green screen. I'm keeping the area safe. the smell of being too late to the rescue. Wait, Sergio? But you're... Then where's Steve? Sergio? Ha! Director Steve, I presume. And if you're expecting Sergio, then I, I guess you don't know that he got zombified. Sergio got bitten? <sighs> that lousy hack's always finding new ways to spoil my work. Still, the show must go on. As I can find the cast, I got a production. You're forgetting your film school lessons, Director. They say never work with kids, animals, or zombies. <laughs> the living are impossible to direct. This time will be different. This time, the dead will be my stars, and with their heads removed from their incompetent bodies, their performances will be completely in my hands. And there's the twist. So, you want me to bring you some zombie heads to play puppets with, huh? Absolutely not. What, do they think they're too good to audition just because they're dead? Huh. Get them here alive so I can see if they've got what it takes and we'll go from there. Oh, finally save someone and he's two scenes short of a screenplay. Look, I do this. I want you to get to Roxanne Kwan's house down the street. It's safer there. An audience? How can I resist? Yeah, you got it. Then it's a deal. I'll go see if any zombies want to expand their career horizons. Any zombies? Oh, I have specific characters in mind. I need a hunk with explosive star power, a hero in uniform, and a vicious blood-sucking villain. Got that? I'm counting on you. I think we got a potential star in the making here. Ah! Now, don't you forget your lines, okay?
All right, let's keep this moving. I see a bright future ahead for you. <laughs> I hear it's bad luck to say Macbeth before a performance, so... Macbeth. Macbeth! Macbeth to you! It's your big break. You'll be degraded and cast aside while some guy profits off your likeness. So, nothing's changed in Hollywood. I'm shepherding zombies into a casting call. This is not my best work. Blacklist of Living was a little hasty. You would make a fabulous lead. That's not my scene. Now, I believe we had a deal. Heads rolled, so now you gotta go to Roxanne's place. I'll get there, don't worry. It's just a short jog down the hill, right? Might want to make it a sprint. And don't take the heads. They're dead weight and will just slow you down. But, fine, fine. No ensemble cast, I mean. Heads. Just... just me. Just you. And so closes the case of the disappearing director. Oh, before I love you and leave you, this little thank you token for getting my movie back on track is from the first film I ever directed. Mint condition. We only used it once. <laughs> I had to replace it after there was an accident on set. <laughs> <laughs> 